Hello everybody and welcome! Today we are going to be playing a new game and I'm so excited for this one. Okay, this game is called Skyborn. I don't know if you could tell that or not by the uh, title screen right now. No? Okay. Well, anyway, this game is all about... Okay, okay, I'm gonna... Where do I begin with this? Alright, I'm gonna preface this off by saying that this game, one of the main reasons I really want to play it is because it reminds me of a book I read not that long ago that was like a fantasy style book and it was like about this girl and just it reminds me of that and I'm excited for this game. So this is what this game is about. Life under the rule of the winged skyborn race isn't bad for Claret Spencer, the star mechanic of an independent repair shop. She can patch up just about anything, but when a certain a uh, cravat wearing customer turns her life upside down. She finds herself pulled into an epic citywide conflict. It's gonna take a lot more than elbow grease to fix it. Okay. Now, I'm excited to hop into this game. I hope you guys like it. And I will start this off again saying, um, I've had a lot of technical issues with this right now, with both my audio and my, like, the way I'm having to record it right now is really <laughs> messed up and I really don't like it. But I really, really want to play this game, and I really want you guys to see this game. So I hope this works, and I hope it looks good, and you guys actually enjoy it, and it doesn't, like, turn out horrible. But enough talk. Let's hop in. It's also, like, in the RPG style. Like, as you can see now, like the other games I've played, like Metal as Fuck, for instance. Ah, another day in paradise, Kagi. Oh! So, what if the sun can't break through the smog? It gives our shop some atmosphere. Sunshine's overrated anyway. Grr, I just rewired that. I wonder if I can trade you in for a cat, Kagi. Everything okay in here, Claret? Nothing I can't handle, just a little pest problem. Okay, we've got an important client coming in soon, so you might want to clean things up. Do you see a mess in here? I keep my workspace clean, unlike some people I know. Wasn't talking about your workspace. Your clothes are covered in engine grease. Uh. I'm not paid to look clean. Well, don't say I didn't warn you. Anyway, we need that thing up and running by tomorrow, so get to it. Hmm. <laughs> what client cares if their mechanic is clean? Now, where did I leave my rivet gun? Oh, right. Over there to the left, by the front desk. wonder if that's a hint, hint. <laughs> I rock really fast. Okay. Well, well. Looks like we might have a renegade half-breed on the loose. Let me go! I'm not a half-breed! I've been through processing already, so lay off. He doesn't have any wings, sir. Some half-seas are late bloomers. Besides, there's more than one way to prove he's not human. What's going on in here? We've got a report of a free half-breed in this part of town. You know the law. You're harassing my employee in my shop. Whoa. Take it easy, lady. I think you should leave. Back off, ma'am. Let's not make this official. Oh, dang. Get out of here. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Typical dirt stomper. You're lucky you got the client you do, else you and I would have words. Keep your nose clean, human. Corbin, are you okay? I'm fine. Thanks, Claret. <laughs> what makes them think they can treat people that way? 
Probably something about their wings, their magic, and the fact that they won the war. I'm so sorry, Corwin. I don't know why the Skyborn prefects are coming in here. They've never taken notice of us before. It's okay. Some of them came in the other day. Same routine. It's nothing new. They beat you up daily? Have you told Jake? Really, it's not a big deal. Please, don't concern him with it. I'll clean up around here so you can get back to work. What a mess, Coggy. Oh well, I need to fix this airship anyhow. And whoever flies it must be the wor world's worst pilot. The navigation core is completely shot. We're all out, but I should be able to pick up a new one in the city. Oh, I'll be fine. Besides, if I run into trouble, I do know how to use my rivet gun after all. Just need to grab those before I head out. I was going to go to that anyway, so... guess that works out. Okay. Open the menu and equip the rivet guns. Exit the menu by pressing Escape X or right click. Or use the menu bar on the bottom of the screen to equip. I like that I can right click. That makes me happy. Okay. Um. Right. That's so cool. We're dual wielding. Ooh, I already like this so much. Oops. Can I uh, investigate it all? No, nothing to nothing to investigate, it looks like. That's alright. What if I talk to him again, Corwin? Why don't you take the rest of the day off, Corwin? I would if I were you. I'll be fine. It's you I'm worried about. Jake seems rather nervous about this new client. Must be a big deal. Hmm. Okay. All right, I guess we're gonna head into town. Claire is now level two. What did I, what? Okay, <laughs> cool. This is an exploration node. Walk into these in order to gain experience points toward leveling up. There are dozens of these all over the world. Some are easy to find, some are more hidden. Reward yourself with exploration. My favorite kinds of games. Uh, Spencer Dry Dock and Repair, Industrial District, Southeast Blackstone Industries. Okay. Little Claret Spencer came out of her cave. What brings you to town? Surely it must be about work, work, work. Ya betcha. Just picking up a few things for a ship in a very sad shape. Hmm. Wonder if I'm supposed to go there. Hmm. 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 Uh -huh. Well, well, Claire, it's Spencer. You're looking... rustic? How's the repair shop business faring these days? Doing quite well, Astrid. Pay is good enough. Hard day's work really cleanses the soul. It's what us rustic people do to pass the time. Mm-hmm. Good to hear. Well then, I imagine you're here for widgets or whatever it is you people do. My uncle over there behind the counter would be pleased to assist you. Hmm. Pleasant. Long time no see. No time to no speak, Harold. I need a navigation core for an uh, Osprey MK2 yacht. Please tell me you guys have one sitting around. Osprey nav core. Yep. <clears throat> Got one right here. Don't sell these much. They run about 40 bits. But I'll let one go for 30 for Spencer's lovely girl. Thanks! Who says good looks don't get you anywhere? <laughs> okay, we're gonna have this conversation again. No, 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 no. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry! 
Mm, this doesn't look good. Ow! Who dares to... Oh, great. It's that crazy mechanic again. Oh, great. The pompous skyborn again. I've just about had enough of your lip, human. Time to teach you some manners. Ooh, first combat. Cool. You'll be sorry you messed with Claret Spencer. Ha, huh, you think I'm afraid of a rivet gun? You've obviously never faced a skyborn warrior. Okay. Uh, you. Oh, no. They do so much damage to me. I'm not gonna defeat them. Come on, you two. I'll not have brawling in the streets. Leave the human to its work. Surely we have more important things to do. As you wish, sir. Human, I'm keeping my eye on you. That's cool. Yeah, you better fly away. Alright, time to finish this airship job. So obviously we're less than to them. What is this? Can I... Can I not go into my... Thank you. There, there's something back here, and I want it. Whatever it is, it has a bird on it. Whatever. Okay. Whatever. Well, I'm happy to see you too, Coggy. Time to finish this repair job. Claret, I'd like to introduce you to Sullivan Chesterford. Mr. Chesterford, this is my younger sister, Claret. She's our main mechanic here at Spencer Dry Dock and Repair. Hello there, um, miss. Hi. Since when do I have to deal with clients? Er, heh, well, Mr. Chesterford wanted to see how the repairs are coming along on his airship. His airship? Oh! So you're the owner. Oh no, please don't tell me we're about to say something about how he wrecked it royally. Yes, it's been making an odd clanking sound lately. I assume you'll be able to repair it. Ha! The clanking was just one of your problems. The timing belt slipped, causing the engine to misfire. But I also found a bent propeller, worn out struts, loose lug nuts, and a giant gouge in the hull. This poor girl's been through the ringer. Your pilot should be fired! <sighs> we said it. Surely I'm not that bad. <laughs> I've taken at least a month's worth of the best flight courses money can buy. You did this? You. You. Claret. Important client. Mr. Fancy Pants here is abusing his ship. This model isn't even a year old and look at the condition it's in. Anyway, Mr. Chesterford, let's go discuss that business contract. Right now. You don't deserve an airship. And that's why Jank won't let you run the front desk. I can't stand it when people don't take care of their machines. Besides, that guy was such a tool I could have fixed the airship using him. Ooh, that was good. Well, I hope he's not too offended. The Chesterfords are in the wealthiest circles. They're even accepted into Skyborn society. We could really use their business. Oh, don't worry. When he sees how smoothly his ship runs after I'm through with her, he'll be back. Especially if he wrecks it again. Oh, hey, assuming he doesn't crash his ship into the Celestial Palace or something. <sighs> Phew. Just about ready. Thanks again. Your ship should be ready tomorrow afternoon. A pleasure, Mr. Spencer. I'm glad we were able to reach an agreement. And I'll look forward to a fresh slew of insults on the morrow from your oh-so-charming sister. Farewell. I need a better accent for him, don't I? <sighs> Claret, don't you think that just this once you could have tried to make a good impression? I'm gonna try to do accents just like I did in Metal as Fuck, so bear with me. <laughs> Tell me if you like them or not. Um, and if I need to change them. I'm thinking I'm gonna make him have a really, like, bad accent. Not Jake, but the Mr. Chester... Tool. 
Sorry, Jake. That guy just got on my nerves. Yeah. Um, Claret, there's something I need to talk to you about. What now? I don't think you're gonna like it much. Am I the half-breed? Okay. In fact, I probably should have talked to you a little sooner. Just tell me already, you're freaking me out. I'm so- Nope, little different. I'm selling the shop to Sullivan Chesterford. What? Look, I know you like to focus on your work, but look around you. Big things are happening in this city, and I can't sit here fixing widgets forever just watching the world change. I have to go be a part of it. But you can't sell the shop! I've already made the deal and the contract is signed. Sorry, Claret. How could you? This... this is our home! Look at all we've accomplished here, especially after Mom and Dad walked out on us. Can't blame them. They probably didn't want to be stuck here either. How can you say that? Are you going to leave me too? Now hold on a second. I've made sure you'll be all taken care of. Trust your big brother. What? What? Holy! I've never seen so much money. Mr. Chesterford and I spent two hours working out the deal. In addition to get you getting your half of a very generous sum of money from the shop sale, there's a way you can keep working here and run the place. Really? How? Simple. You become Mr. Ch- Miss- Oh! <laughs> you become Mrs. Chester Ford! Simple. <laughs> Me. You. Have. Got. To. Be. Kidding. Nope. We talked about it. It took some haggling, but he's already agreed. You sold me as part of the shop? Whoa, whoa, no. I meant I had to haggle to get him to take you. Ah! Well, this is going swimmingly, wouldn't you say? Homeless, unemployed, humiliated. My brother is an idiot. How could he do this to me? And what made him think I'd marry that Chesterford guy? That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. I'm talking to a robot. I really am Claret. Guess there's only one thing to do. Come on, Coggy, I've got a plan. We're running away. <laughs> That airship is still in the work bay and is flight ready. Let's go. Oh! <laughs> I was kidding! <laughs> Great. We're stealing his airship. This is the worst possible idea. Corwin. Er, I was just getting a drink of water. Really? Jake told me the news. Oh. I'll pretend I didn't see you. You will? Every person should be free to make their own choices. Thanks, Corwin. Oh, one more thing. Could you give this to Jake when you see him? Goodness, isn't this your share of the sale money? He's gonna need it. Take care, Corwin. I'm stealing an airship. Like, they're gonna catch me. They can- Okay, all of the guards can fly. And I'm pretty sure an airship is probably gonna have some kind of identification. So let's just- Let's just see how this goes, yeah? Okay. Yeah, no, we're gonna get away with it. We're Claret, the mechanic. Oh, this is almost too easy. Jake is going to be furious. It's just it's just a test flight. Make sure it all works. That's all. <gasps> Why is he on the ship? Good, looks like everything's here. What the Zounds. Great. Thud? No, there should be no thud. I triple checked the engine earlier. You! What are you doing here? The shop closed hours ago. It's my ship. What are you doing flying it? 
I was just... I was only... Look, Jake told me about your little contract. I've decided it is unacceptable. I'm taking this ship as compensation. Thief! How dare you! We have a signed agreement. Ah! Uh, Stormwork Sky Patrol drones! I ran straight into them! Ha! Huh. Now who's the bad pilot? Your fault for distracting me. Blast! How am I gonna explain this to Jake and the city guard? Hmm. Surely we can resolve this in a civilized manner. Now- Oh, now you want to talk about it. A little late. The drones are closing in. Bother. Let's fight them off. Fight them? I thought you- Come now. You don't want to be arrested for theft and kidnapping, do you? No, but... <sighs> Ugh, I guess I have no choice. Kagi, take the wheel. Ka okay. Here they come. Let me take the brunt of their attacks. Make sure my threat is higher than yours, Claire. They'll always attack whoever has the highest threat. What do you mean, threat? Why can't we just blast these out of the sky? You draw attention to yourself by dealing damage. If your threat gets too high, hang back and defend while I try and draw threat away from you. Just be careful and don't get yourself killed. No promises. We're gonna attack. <laughs> He's also going to attack. His attack is lower than mine. Thanks, Sullivan. You know, if he's just gonna guard me, I could straight attack anyway, because he's guarding anyway. Yeah, exactly. There we go. Expose weakness, new skill. Er, thanks. <laughs> Why are you helping me all of a sudden? It never helps to antagonize your kidnapper and all that. I haven't kidnapped anybody! That's wonderful news! You'll return my ship and my person to the dock, then. No way am I going back. I'll have to dump you somewhere else. Oh, are you my new chauffeur? We ought to discuss your wages. Ugh, look here, Sully Ford. We both want you off this boat. Fine, I'll let you off wherever you want, but I'm keeping the ship. I even left a bunch of money with Jake to pay for it. Mm, well, if that's the case, let's make this legal, shall we? Fly me to Uptown and we can go to the airship registry office and record the sale. You'd do that? Why not? I can always buy another. Well, I guess you can, huh? Sounds like a deal. Huh? Surely you've been to Uptown before. I came up here once with Jake and Corwin when we needed some parts for a job, but I didn't see much. Oh, fear not. I am a directional genius. Just head into town and the registry office will be all the way to the west, right next to the town square. Quest journal updated. Okay, I think that's where we're going to leave off for this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I know we're just getting into this game and everything, but I really hope you guys will like it, and... I'm excited to play more, uh, so I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching.